Hi there. This is Virginia Parsons, your Hangout Mentor, helping entrepreneurs reach new heights of visibility, social influence, and success using Google Hangouts on air. And over the past several weeks, we've been discussing five proven ways to make money with Hangouts on air. And this is the last in our series. I'm going to discuss method five today, and that is obtaining a sponsor for your Hangout show. Now there's a number of steps to obtaining a sponsor, six to be exact. And step one is looking at yourself and your business and companies and services that you use on a regular basis and that you love. These are companies, businesses, or services that you use and would be proud to share with your audience. And it is important that a sponsor is something that will relate to your audience. If it's a sponsorship that the audience can't relate to, it's not a good fit. So think about products you use on a regular basis that you already want to share with your audience or you already have been sharing and consider them to be an ideal sponsor. So once you've got that list together, then you can go to step two. And step two is to learn more about that potential sponsor. Do your research here because not all potential sponsors are going to be a good fit for your show. First of all, you want to look for a sponsor who is already actively engaged on Google+. If they're actively engaged on Google+, they have a good following and they have audience that responds to them and they relate back and forth. So there's good audience engagement and that's important. If your potential sponsor is not active on Google+, it might not be a good fit at this time because perhaps that potential sponsor really doesn't have an understanding of the power of Hangouts on Air and the power of engagement on Google+. So they may not appreciate the, the value of being a sponsor for your Hangout show. So I'd really do the research first, find out how many followers the potential sponsor has and whether or not they're really engaging with their audience. They may be on Google+, but they may be doing automatic posting, and that means they're not engaging with their audience, and that's just not an ideal fit for your sponsorship. So do your research first. Then the next step is to take a look at your own business. Take a look at what's going on with you on Google+. How many followers do you have? How actively engaged are you and your followers with each other? Take a look at how your audience has been so far with the Hangouts you've been doing. How many are you having participate live and how many are you having watch afterwards? And then think about projecting this into the future six months or a year from now. As you project it into the future, you're going to have a better idea just how much reach you can create for not only yourself, but your sponsor. Once you've got these figures together, then it's time to do the next step and that is to put together a detailed letter of interest. Now in this letter of interest you're not going to be talking money yet. You're just going to outline why you think this particular company would be a great sponsor for your show. You're going to outline what your audience is like and what their areas of interest are and why you think your audience would really find a, a good deed of, of interest in your sponsor. So put all that down and you're going to let the sponsor know, you know, how many shows you intend to have in a month's time and how much audience reach you intend to have and how you're going to expose your sponsor so that there's many different ways you can give exposure to your sponsor and you want to outline all the possibilities in that letter of intent and that W-I-I-F-T, it's all about what's in it for them. Now, since they're already actively engaged in Google+, you don't need to do anything but personally message them right through Google+, with your letter of interest. It's that easy. Now next, you're going to put together an agreement and a contract. So you're going to come to an agreement on how many Hangouts on Air you're going to do per month, how you're going to expose the sponsor, and all the different ways you're going to provide exposure to the sponsor. And then you're going to put that into a contract and it's in the contract that you'll have the agreement for the amount that the sponsor is going to pay. 
you can agree the sponsor is going to pay so much per show or you can agree the sponsor is going to pay so much per month and you agree to how many shows that's going to involve. All of this goes into a good solid business agreement between you and your sponsor and now you've got a partnership where not only will you be consciously exposing your sponsor but your sponsor is going to be promoting your events to all of its audience you're going to be promoting and it's going to happen both before the event during the event and after the event for the greatest benefit of everyone now let's look at how you recognize them so step six is recognition and I want to pause and give recognition to Wade Harmon Wade Harmon provided me with a lot of this information that I'm sharing with you He's an expert at obtaining sponsorships for his Hangout on Air shows. And you can see here that right in an event page, the first thing he mentions under the event headline is that it is sponsored by Nod3X. And so he goes on to add a link as well to their website. So this is the first place that he's setting up to recognize his sponsorship. You can also recognize the sponsorship in addition right on the live hangout and I think that's a great place to do it. You start the hangout by saying this hangout is sponsored by and you name your sponsor and a little bit about what they're about Then you go on to have the hangout. Now you can also mention your sponsor in comments both in the comments in the event page, comments during the event and comments after the event when you're distributing the event after the live broadcast. There's lots of ways to do it and don't forget promo items. These can be a wonderful way to acknowledge and recognize your sponsor. It may be that you'll agree to do a backdrop that has the sponsor's logo on it. It also may be that you'll decide to wear a t-shirt of the sponsors, a hat, or even drink from a sponsor's mug. Any of these are ways of acknowledging and recognizing the relationship you have with your sponsor and that you highly endorse their products. So I've just gone over in, in the last few weeks five proven ways to make money with Hangouts On Air. And we started by talking about coaching. Coaching programs that can either be private, one-on-one, -on -one, or group coaching. We also talked about putting together affiliate reviews of products and services that you use on a regular basis and you have an affiliate relationship with. We talked about product demonstrations, products that are easy for you to demonstrate that really need demonstration for the audience to appreciate the product's value. And then expert interviews, and expert interviews that have a special offer for your audience, something that you also receive a commission for any sales during the hangout. And finally, we've covered obtaining sponsorships for your show. So I hope that you found this information of value. I hope that you're going to take this information and go out and apply it to your business and start monetizing your hangouts in a number of different ways. And if you'd like more information on how to hang out like a pro, I want to invite you to visit my hangoutmentor.com site. That's www.hangoutmentor.com. And on there, you can check out my Fast Start program. I have a Hangout Mentor Fast Start program that takes you step by step with 20 different videos how to learn to hang out like a pro. Inside the membership site, I also offer a myriad of advice on advanced hangout techniques, advanced marketing techniques, and advanced ways that you can get the recognition and the visibility and the social influence you deserve using Google Hangouts. I want to thank you for joining me for this series of Hangouts on five ways to make money using Google Hangouts on air. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. This is Virginia Parsons, your Hangout Mentor. Bye now.